I'm in Windows 11, as you can tell by the taskbar at the bottom, and in Hyper-V that I've installed on this computer. And what I'd like to do is I'd, I'd like to add additional storage. Now you can see I've got a few different virtual machines that are all currently turned off. And in order to add the storage, the virtual machine itself does have to be turned off. So it works the same way no matter if you're using a client or a server. So I'm just going to choose the server and click at the bottom here where it says settings. You can see I'm getting into the Windows Server settings on this Windows 11 computer. So now I want to add an additional hard drive. So I'll click on SCSI controller and you can see I've got an option to add a hard drive, a DVD, or a shared drive. I want to choose to add a hard drive and I'm going to choose new and click next and you can choose fixed or dynamically expanding. So if you want to choose fixed, it'll be faster, but it'll be slower getting it set up. And it will use all of the storage all at once. Dynamically expanding will start out with the smallest amount and then it will just increase over time. Now I've done a whole other video on differencing. Most people don't need that one, so I'll skip that one for now. So I'll click next. I'm just gonna call this one added storage. And I'm going to choose the default location that you see here. But if you want, you can browse to a different location. Click Next. So now I have the option to use an entire volume if I want or hard disk. Or I can choose a specific size. Or I can choose copy the contents of a specific, uh, you know, a specified virtual hard disk. So I'm just going to choose 5 gigabytes just to keep it simple. And choose the top option, which is the default and then click Finish. And I'm going to apply. As long as you don't get any errors there, you're good to go. Now I'm going to start up this virtual machine and I'm going to show you how to make it so you can use that storage. Now I'm in the virtual machine and I want to go to Computer Management. So I'll put in Computer Management in the search box. There's the application. And now I'm just going to go to Storage and then you're going to choose Disk Management. And there's our five gigabyte drive. Now, sometimes it'll just pop up and say, would you like to initialize this? Other times, like you see here, it won't do that. So I'll just right click and choose online. And then I'm going to right click on it again and choose initialize. And it'll say, what do you want to do? Disk one. Yep, that matches disk one here. So that's perfect. And now it says it's online. Now all I got to do is create a volume out of that. So I'll click new simple volume. Next, and then you can carve it up into different pieces if you want, but I'm just going to choose the whole thing. And then you, here's where you can choose the drive letter. Any letter that's available, you can choose. Click Next. Here's where you can format it a specific way. The default is usually the best, but you do have the option for FAT32. One advantage of this here is that if this is an external drive, you can copy files to, say, Linux or Macintosh. Uh, REFS is not a great idea for a client, uh, but it's fine for a server if you want to do it. And quick format is nice because it happens very quickly. And click Finish. So now I've got the D drive. So if I open up my folder, I can go to this PC. And there's my D drive. So that's how we add an extra hard disk for storage in our Windows 11 Hyper-V.